Hey guys, welcome back to the viewers. So I know I've been MIA for about like three, four weeks now, but I'm back. And I really wanted to do a fashion related video because there isn't a lot of fashion content on my channel which honestly is kind of ironic because I started the B word as a personal style blog so I feel like we need to like just push a little bit more clothing content on this channel so um, I came across the closet confidential tag and I thought it would be a really fun way to kind of introduce to you guys my style and what I'm liking what I don't like and yeah just for you guys to get to know me a little bit better that kind of sense so yeah, let's dive straight into it, shall we? Alright, so the first question of the Cause of Confidential tag is what is the oldest item in your wardrobe? And my wardrobe is kind of a mixture between my clothes and a lot of my mom's clothes because she's got a whole lot of bomb items and I'm not, not going to wear them. So the oldest item is this two-piece, I think it's a, it's a knitted skirt. Yeah, it's really cute. It's a, this knitted skirt and a matching cardigan. And she got it in like about 1991, around then, before I was born in Hillbrow. And yeah, I think it's super cute. So that's the oldest item in my wardrobe. The next question is, what is the newest item in my wardrobe? And I think I bought this, what day is it today? It is Tuesday. So I got this on Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure. I'm so happy I got these as well. So I got these from Factory and yeah, I've just been looking for a really cool, good, durable pair. So because I wear them so often, they get worn down and like start breaking apart and stuff like that. So really digging those, really happy that I got those and they look like they're going to be quite durable. So that's good. Okay, moving on to what's the most expensive item in my wardrobe. And I don't really spend a lot of money on a single item of clothing. But if I had to pick the most expensive item in my wardrobe, it would be my matric dance dress. And honestly, guys, I'm actually kind of interested to see if this even fits. It fits me still. Yeah, so this is it. As you can see, I went all glitter. I went all glitter. <laughs> well, I actually really want to try this on. Yes. So, yeah, I think my trick was about four years ago, which is wild crazy but that's the most expensive item in my wardrobe which my mom always reminds me she has never stopped reminding me of it and I've only worn it once all right okay so next up is what is the biggest bargain in your wardrobe and I remember I was looking for a birthday present for my friend and I actually managed to get something for her and something for myself as well and it was a clutch bag two of these clutch bags and which that's the one I gave to her and a pair of these sneakers over here all for 200 rand guys come on come on i died so yeah that's definitely my biggest bargain and then the next question is what's your biggest waste of money or regret and i wouldn't say that this is a waste of money but it is a it is a why like i just asked myself why did you get this for kind of, were you planning on wearing it because you haven't i just don't understand and it's these earrings they are Amstelaga <laughs> beer bottle caps um, that have been made into earrings and apparently I thought I would wear these. I was sorely mistaken. I don't even know what I was thinking. So that's my biggest, what were you thinking? Instead of like regret or waste of money, it was like 10 rand, so not a waste of money, but still. Who's gonna wear that? <laughs> wow. Next up is what's your most affordable, cheapest item that you use? a lot because I got a lot of cheap items in my wardrobe but this is like which one do I use a lot and without a question it's this top you guys have seen it already if you've seen one of my other videos and it's this red off the shoulder top it's more maroon I don't know but it's a rich beautiful color as you can see I'm a fan of this color and hey man I gotta say that color must be a fan of me too because I'm loving how it looks on this man and I am wild I need a cop down. But yeah, that is my one of my most affordable items that I use a lot. And hopefully you guys can see why. So my three favorite accessories right now, it's gotta be, I'm really liking earrings. I've gone like, maybe like, I'd say two years without really wearing earrings, but all of a sudden, I've just kind of tried earrings again and I'm moving into more like statement kind of earrings. I don't have a lot right now, 
but as you can see here i'm wearing an earring it's not much of a statement but i'm gonna get more of those so earrings is one of my favorite um accessories right now at the moment um sunglasses hey girl you know every time i go out i've got to have a good pair of shades and handbags everyone who knows me i can't like i always have to have a handbag on me i've got i carry a lot of stuff with me so i really like a good handbag those are my three favorite accessories i don't know if a bag falls under accessories but whatever today it does so the next question is what is your most worn or overworn item when i like something i wear it i wear it a lot and i wear it too much now anyone who knows me this actually it's a tie between this and hold on hold on let me where did i put it okay got it hold up these two right here so this is my denim jacket that yes you have seen that i'm obsessed with i love it and then these are like some couture pants that these are couture pants that another one thing i'm obsessed with i over wear them so much i even broke the zipper so now i'm dying that i can't wear them anymore but i'm taking that as a sign to kind of calm down and yeah those are like my faves honestly i, I die for these pieces and like couture high-waisted pants when have you ever when moving on to what is the most comfortable item in your closet now my closet is made up of a lot a lot of basics and my go-to pieces are t-shirts i have a lot of t-shirts sweaters and hoodies those are my most comfortable items if i'm chilling you'll always see that I, yeah i think i have a really laid back kind of style in any case and then i just have like a couple of bam items here and there but all in all very chill laid back and on the other side of that, the next question would be, what's the most outrageous item in your closet? Now this I also got thrifting on the same day that I got the, that red shirt. And yeah, I think, I honestly think I just got this item because it was so cheap. I got these pants. I don't know if you can see them very, but like they're light blue, high-waisted, literally high-waisted up to here. And yeah, they were they were really wild print and I'm not much of a print girl, but I got these because they were a whole two rand. Come on, come on, come thrifting with me guys. I'll show you the lads. I'll show you the whole two rand. I haven't worn them yet. Yeah, that's my most outrageous item of clothing, which I don't know, might not be that outrageous, honestly, but I know where that. And what is the most uncomfortable item you own, but you wear it a lot because you love it? easy hands down is these boots they are lit they are hot i love them but after 30 minutes i want to kill myself because they're so uncomfortable but you know you gotta you gotta suffer for the passion for the fashion you gotta suffer to look good sometimes and yeah that's what those are my that's my pick for that one next question is where do i shop the most if i'm not thrifting or if i'm not reading my mom's closet then you can definitely find me at like cotton on or factory i like those i got this from there yeah got this at the main section of cotton on the items they're good for building basics in your closet and i don't know they like i said they have a really laid back kind of style as well which i really like and there's a sales store by my house so if you haven't guessed by now that i like things quite affordable and that's another reason why I shop there a lot and it's close. So Cotton On and Factory, thumbs up, sponsor me. Okay, so for our last few questions, we're gonna kick things off with what is my favorite black item and favorite white item. And for my favorite black item, it's this black polo neck that I'm really liking at the moment. It's really simple, classic. Um, I like the sleeves, you guys will see in the cutaway as well. So that's my favorite black item and favorite white item is also another classic piece um, that everyone should have in their closet in my opinion it's a button down white shirt you can wear it casually you can wear it dressed up and i like this one it's a little bit um longer than the norm so that's my favorite white item at the moment and then our last question is what is something that you're super excited to wear soon and the item that I'm super excited to wear is this black jumpsuit 
I mean, you can't even. What this just looks like a bunch of cloth. <laughs> but thank God for the cutaways. But yeah, it's this black jumpsuit that my brother and older brother got for me from factory, and it's kind of different. I'm trying to like you know just kind of step out a little bit of my comfort zone in terms of my style and stuff. So I'm really excited to see how I can style that, and like I just need somewhere to go. But yeah, that's the closet confidential tag, guys. That's like giving you a sneak peek into like my style, the stuff that I like, the stuff that I don't like, and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a young thumbs up, and then subscribe if you want to see more. Come on, guys, join the family. Don't be hating. Don't be creeping and watching these videos and not subscribing. Just subscribe. <laughs> and yeah, oh yeah, I want to end off this video by doing something different. And yeah, I want to give a shout out to Solly. He has been watching my videos since. I met him, so shout out to you, Sully, and I'm gonna definitely be giving more shout outs to all your loyal watchers that put up with me when I put, I put a video up, like every who knows, like when. So, yeah, that's it from me. I will see you guys soon, and August is coming, so you can expect a couple more videos from me then. Hopefully, more consistent. But yeah, I think I'm just rambling off now. Yeah. Okay. Bye.